Oh, are you gonna yawn? Oh, good morning, Memphis. <laughs> Memphis is a big yawn. I missed your yawn. I saw you out of the corner of my eye. And then Oakley just got up and stretched. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for liking and subscribing to Snow Dogs Vlogs. Okay, so as you guys saw yesterday, we pretty much did most of the floor in the living room. But if you look, it, it looks like the living room hasn't even been taken apart. Part of the reason we tried to do it as fast as we can is because, I don't know if you guys noticed yesterday, the dogs were a little bit stressed. They were kind of a little bit freaking out because the couch was moved, the rug was gone, Oakley especially because her box was gone. Look, she's back in her box. Yeah. So even though this part of the floor is not done, we made the living room look like the living room again so that the dogs have a sense of normalcy. And as you can see today, they're kind of back to normal. They don't really realize much has changed. <laughs> they're like, we're good, we're good. Yesterday they all were a little stressed, especially that one, but uh, she's good now. You got your box back, baby? So like, I got my box back, guys. I'm good. You're getting closer. There, it almost clicks in my hand. Closer. <laughs> it's looking so pretty. I love it with this rug, too. <laughs> Look, I don't have to buy a new rug. It matches the floor. <laughs> Maybe that one over there can go someplace else because that one no longer matches at all. Ready for noise? Yeah, ready? I was going to say, wait, why are you making noise? I'm going to make noise. You're making noise. I'm not going to make a lot of noise. Here, get that click in there. No. He's got to go this way. This is how I was doing it last night. Just sitting here. My chair wasn't in my way, but... I was going to move it, but you had a bunch of stuff on it when yeah, I went to I move it. Move it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to just say, here, you know, here, make sure that we went together. He looks so relaxed. I know, and it actually I feel relaxed when I sit like this. See? So, yeah. And it's actually in a pretty good position. You don't have your knee pads. No, uh, my knee pads, because I bend my knees too far, they were scrunching up inside in between uh, my legs, so just, they've chewed up my legs on the inside. Oh. Uh, so, if I was just kneeling on my knees at a 45, like this leg, it wouldn't have been. Right. But since you're moving so much. Getting closer. Much closer. Yay. It looks so pretty in front of the fireplace. Here, if I go like this, look, it's all done. <laughs> It will be soon. Yay! Biking with Memphis. So there is a trick to walking all three dogs. First trick, harnesses and belt. Second trick, run Memphis for two miles before letting her walk with the other two. Because Shelby and Oakley actually walk pretty good. They walk at a pretty steady pace. But Memphis pulls really, really hard. But right now, she ain't pulling at all. I can literally just stop, and they stop. <laughs> so the trick is, wear Memphis out first. Well, you can put your head out. We're not driving yet. Somebody's going to the vet. Shelby, do you want to go to the vet? She's like, I don't care as long as I can do this. This is amazing. Go to the vet, get your spot checked out. It looks grosser today than it did yesterday. She's just happy. Are you happy? <laughs> all right, made it to the vet with Shelby. She's got to sniff all of the floor. <sighs> sniff all of the things. What do you think, Shelby? She's like, I'm all alone. <laughs> Oh, here comes another doggy. We better hold on to you. Here comes another dog. <laughs> All right, you guys, you get to see how Shelby is at the vet. Yeah. They're trying to take her temperature by her ear. <laughs> Trust me, it's better than the other way. Oh, I know. She does it every time. This is, this is how we know you're a true diva. Oh. <laughs> you're fine. Look, now you get a cookie. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Are we playing fetch with the cookie? Yeah. Good job, Shelby. <laughs> Do you want 
you hear that puppy dog out there? All right, so they took Shelby's temperature. Her temperature is normal. As you can tell, she made the little cry noise. Honest to God, you guys, they didn't hurt her. She does that almost every time they take her temperature. She's just a true diva dog. And now we're just waiting for the vet. We're waiting for the vet to come and see you. I know, girl. All right, we're leaving the vet. The good news is they said it's probably nothing major. They ran a test on some of the stuff that was coming out of it, and it came back as just being normal gross pus. Normal gross pus, huh? So, thankfully, it's nothing major. They're not too worried about it. They gave us some medicine to give her to hopefully take care of it. Let's go home, okay? So, they shaved a little bit of fur around the spot, and they squeezed it a little bit. You don't wanna know that part. It was really gross. Um, stuff started coming out of it. So what they did is, the stuff that came out of it, they actually put on a little glass, piece of glass, and they tested it. So they wanted to make sure if it was just like a pus, an infection, was it some type of tumor, was it, what was it? Well, it turns out it was just pus, that's all it was, which is a good thing. So they gave us some medicated wipes, they gave her some antibiotics to be on for a week, and they said in seven days they want her to come back and they'll look at it, kind of test the skin or whatever again, and uh, that's pretty much it. So she's doing okay. You're not Shelby, Shelby's in there getting water. but. In a second here, I'll actually uh, show you guys what it looks like. So be forewarned, I'll warn you again once Shelby's back in here and uh, I'll let you know. Look it, while I was gone at the vet, Jamie almost got it all done, almost, so close. Hey babe, come here, can we look at your spot? Thanks. Right, if you're easily grossed out, look away now. Ready? <laughs> Shelby's like, no, I'm shy. Okay, let's show them. Ew. So this is the spot. You can't lick it, honey. And they've shaved all... No, you can't lick it. They shaved all the fur away around it. And you can see right in the center, that's where it kind of like ruptured. But you can see how red and... Nope, you can't lick it. How big of a circle it is. That's why we ended up taking her in. Because you can tell that her skin is very irritated right there. So whatever it is, definitely irritated her skin. But I know, I'll leave you alone now. I just, okay, you guys can look again. If you were grossed out, you won't be now. Unless you're grossed out by Shelby's face. I don't think anybody's grossed out by Shelby's face. Uh, so yeah, we just gotta take care of it, stop her from licking it, and uh, keep it cleaned up. And hopefully it'll heal up just fine. So it's nothing major, but I thought I'd update you guys. And Memphis is so concerned. She keeps coming over here and trying to sniff it. You can't lick it either, and you can't lick it either. Nobody can lick Shelby's wound. What's out there? Oh, well. What? Did the neighbor dogs walk by? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Three of them? We're Three eating four. leftover, what's it called? Shish kebabs. Heck yeah. Mmm. Taking a break from four, which is almost done. I showed them that it was almost done when I got back. Memphis, you can't sniff her butt. <laughs> we gotta put the feet on that. Mm, on that? Yeah, and mm. I gotta put all that back together still, too. You can't eat my food either. No. No. And then I'll be doing it. So the coolest thing about making shish kebabs, one of the coolest things about when we make shish kebabs is we usually make enough for two meals. And what we actually do is for the second meal, we take them off that skewer and we wrap them in aluminum foil. And then the next day, we just take that aluminum foil packet and put it back out in the grill for like, what was that, 20 minutes? Yep. And it actually makes everything pretty crunchy again. Yeah, we cook it. So it's like a reheated meal, but we get two meals out of it. And we threw the asparagus in there too, cause you know, why the heck not? Cause it's so good. Yeah, you can vent them while cooking them too to help uh, keep them crispy. I don't think I did that. I think no. I just threw them on there. I didn't tell you. Yeah. I figured I saw that. All right. <laughs> now the audience knows. What are you doing, Shelby? You feel better? We gotta put some medicine. I showed them her spot. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody. We did. We showed them her spot. <laughs> the dogs are like, hey, we're checking this out. Watch out. As I say, it's gonna go over the fence. <laughs> oh my gosh, it flies out here. <laughs> Get it, it flies. <laughs> what do you think, girls? Seriously? They get up for two seconds, and instead of Shelby stealing my seat, you just steal the whole couch. I'm talking to you. She's just like, don't care. I'm stealing the whole couch. <laughs> Look! Dun 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 dun!
all that's left is the trim and possibly changing the color of these walls but that's a whole nother project we're not even going to start right now all right now you listen here if you keep trying to lick that spot i'm gonna actually make you wear this you kind of look cute wearing it though it kind of looks like a pillow is it like a pillow this is actually um a cone i bought for oakley when she had her surgery because the cones that like come way out here and cover it so they can't see anything around their eyes really freaked oakley out so i actually bought this here let me see it shall we Ooh, thanks it's actually inflatable so i'm telling you i saw you move and look like you were gonna lick it i'm gonna put it on you it's gonna happen i'm sorry <laughs> you lay on it like a pillow but yeah i like it because it's like it's really soft you fill it up with air and you can make it firmer or softer put your head through no you cannot push it off no you can't i don't think that's how it works you can't put your foot through it so yeah i actually like this a lot better than those big plasticky cones that they put on dogs she can actually move around the house if she does end up having to wear this i don't know if she'll have to for some reason right now she's been trying to lick it We'll clean it up one more time and then we'll go to bed. What do you think of that? Oakley's like, I'm just gonna go to bed. Forget whatever else you're doing. And Memphis is licking treat crumbs off the carpet. What do you think? Do you even care that it's on? She's like, mm, not really. Shall we? Go ahead, try to do that again. See, I took it off you for one second. For one second. <laughs> you're just gonna freeze with it on though, aren't you? You're like, I'm not gonna move. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lick anything. I'm not, I won't do anything. You can't lick it, babe. How do you tell a dog not to do something like that? Don't lick it. They don't understand what we're saying, do you? Oh, you do? Okay, good. Then I'll take it off. <laughs> now she's protesting. <laughs> See, once she gets unfrozen, she'll move around in it. I won't make you wear it to bed, though. Because I'm pretty sure once you get into bed, you're going to fall asleep. Go to bed. Are you really gonna do it? Go ahead, go to bed. Go on, go to bed, I'll get you a treat. <laughs> go to bed, go on. You can, you can turn around right there. Go on. You go in there and I will be right in there with a treat. You want to bed? Look at you did it. Look, you can have a treat. She's like, can I have this horrible thing off my head? You want a treat? Did you spit it out? Okay, I'll take the thing off so you'll eat your treat. See that? I had to actually take that off for her to eat her treat. She's like, I'm not doing it unless you take this thing off my head. You want a treat too? There you go. All right, you guys. Say goodnight to the audience. Good night, party ants. Everybody gets a cookie for bed. Thanks for liking and subscribing to Snow Dogs Vlog.